everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching in this video i'm going to set up my work planner for april um as i've said before i take a monthly layout which is you know you got the monthly view here you have these two goals pages which i mean i guess some people would consider it like extra currently pages but the currently page is right here um, these are more like goal pages, like you got habit trackers here, you got a spot for monthly goals, a checklist, notes sections, priorities, um, and so I use each one of these sections on these two pages for something different, and then after that you have these daily tasks, and this section right here is like one day, there's another day, there's another day, and there's enough for every day of the month. So, and then, you know, as you guys have seen my plan with me, I use a dashboard layout for my work planner. So, what I do is I take both planners and I combine them together. So, I've taken my April, the month of April of my dashboard layout. I've already taken it out of the planner and put it into my Franken planner and popped it in here in between these two days of the daily task sheets. And then, you know, you got it. Then I'll have this extra for at the end of the month. I use it for, like, writing down notes if I need to find out. Um, if I need to call, like, any of my distributors, because uh, we own a business. If I need to call any of my distributors for information on pricing or um, if I, like, I check voicemails and write down voicemails, phone numbers I need to call back, stuff like that, um, I use these two pages for. But... Since this whole other layout is popped in between these two pages, um, then I want to make sure whenever I turn this page that I go straight to the first week of April in the dashboard layout. So what I do is I take this tape runner and I do it like this. Like someone suggested to me to like cut this off that way there's not you know so many sheets of paper on the discs I don't really mind that and I like to have it on the discs whenever I tape it together so I can make sure that it's straight you know it it works out um, it gets on there more even if it's on the discs I don't have to worry about it being like you know all wonky so then I'll go to the end of the month here and this is the currently page for May in the dashboard layout. So I already have a currently page for May with my monthly layout, so I don't need two. So I will take these two pages together. Let me put this back away. Okay, now those are all taped together and I have it, I have the flow going right for the month of April. Now I'm gonna decorate these two pages. So I'm gonna pop these out the disc real quick. Okay, I'm gonna start with this second page here. This section right here says top priorities and it's got, you know, um, one two and three but i use this to track like our weekly income like um, how much we make in our business and then i'll tally it up at the end of the month oh for stickers should have said this already <laughs> i'm using the plenty things seasonal fun i think this released last year um and i'm going to use these easter stickers and there's also these baby animals and we've got some butterflies for the spring section, excuse me. And um, then there are boxes to coordinate in here. So those are the stickers that I'm going to use for right here. I'm gonna go to the boxes so I can do this. So I'm gonna line out where it says top priorities and the numbers one, two, and three. Okay. Now, I'm 
I'm gonna use this header size box right here and four more because I need one for each week. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm going to put one down here for each week. I'm going to grab a pin here in just a second. Okay, and I think I might do something a little different and use one of these circle stickers. I usually put a box. Oh, I hope it's not too big. Well, okay. So I can raise it up just a little bit so it doesn't hang off the edge of the page. And I can raise this one up just a little bit. Okay. Now, let me, what do I want to write with this one? I guess I'll just use the oldie but goodie paper made flare. So I'm gonna write earnings right here. And then week one, two, three, four, and then in this one, I'm gonna put April total, okay? Now in this section, this used to have, like it used to, in previous years, it would say like um, gratitude or something like that, where you can write um, something that you're grateful for for the end of the, at the end of the month or for your monthly gratitude or whatever. But I use this section at the end of the month. And, and I use it as a reflection. Uh, you know, things that went wrong, things that we can do better, things that went well, you know, stuff like that. At this section right here, whoops. I use this section right here to track new. So we have, I, I've said this before, we have an upholstery business. Um, I reupholster furniture for a living. Um, I do all of the cars, or no, sorry, I don't do cars. Um, he does all of the cars and uh, boats, anything with wheels on it. And I only do furniture. So I like to keep track of new things that come in. And I usually put the box over here to cover up this white out. But I think instead this month, I'm going to do a little, a little different. I think I'm going to grab one of these carrot banners. Oh no, I ripped it. I ripped it just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it up here. All right. I'm gonna grab a different, a different box. Okay. Um, I might just use a circle over here. And write new
this. month I need to start like practicing my handwriting again I feel like it's getting sloppy so I um, divided up in three columns one is his column so I'm gonna write his name one is my column And one is our fabric sales. Um, <clears throat> I usually put that in the middle in between his and mine. Could have made that. I could have brought it down a line. So, because I was afraid of running into this. I should have brought it down a little bit, you know, down a little bit. That way I could have made it bigger, but oh well. So that is all that I use on this page. So since I have that all set up, I think I'm gonna decorate it a little. So I'm gonna take a piece of this floral. And put it over here. And these stickers are well. Let me pull this page out. It's a little difficult. Here we go. I'm gonna put this butterfly right here. Okay. And let's see. Let's do this cute little baby animal right here. Is it a baby deer? I don't know. Can't tell what that is. Looks like a baby deer. All right, I wanna take this truck and I'm gonna put it right here by the reflect, by reflection. The truck goes pretty good for it with my work planner being, you know, it is uh, for our upholstery business. I'm gonna take another one of these carrots and go around that circle sticker. And let's take a few of these. Easter eggs. And lay them around. In some random places. I'd like to fit something on this side, but I don't think, I don't think I can. Okay, all right, I'm gonna move on. So I'm gonna go over to this page. Now, I use this section to write down the three goals that I always, always, always work on every month. It, my three goals are the same thing every month. And it's just three things that I absolutely have to do and that I like try to push forward, push towards every month. Um, but I wipe that out because I don't really need it to say goals. I mean, I know that I'm going to work on that and, you know, I'm going to write them down right here. So, I'm going to put this little piggy, <laughs> this little baby pig right here instead. Okay. So, um, up here, I... The three goals that I work towards, I also use in the habit trackers to make sure that I'm doing something every day to go towards that goal. So the first goal is I like, 
I like to get eight pieces done. And so in my first habit tracker, to make sure I'm going towards that eight pieces, I track my productivity. Am I getting done what I wanna get done that day to make sure I meet my eight pieces goal? My second one is social media postings. I like to post work or progress or anything on our social media page. So, so of course, my second habit tracker is going to be posting. You know, ha have I posted something to our Facebook page that day? And the third one is calls and updates. I like to call back uh, missed calls that I got or um, give updates on current projects I'm working on. So, of course, my next habit tracker, tracker will be calls. Okay. Um, right here, it says check it off. I do use that for a checklist, and I actually run that checklist all the way to the bottom. So, I can decorate the rest of it now. Um, let's see. Put this little bunny right here. Um... Put some more of these carrot banners and put one around April. Uh, let's see. This is cute. Oh, that kind of just landed there, so I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we got this Easter egg basket let me put it right here oh and it looks like carrots the basket looks like carrots that's cute uh, let's see what else This says carrots are for the Easter Bunny. Let me put some Easter eggs around the page. Put one right there. Put one right there. Okay. I don't really want to put a whole lot more on uh, these, this page, especially because I run the checklist all the way down. So I write all right here. Uh, let's see about putting some washi down though. Like, like 
can put some stripe washi across the top. I can put some across the bottom too. Kind of frame the, the page a little. Especially with this skinny washi. It goes <clears throat> right under that basket and those eggs without going over top of them. Put some up here. Okay, and I put some at the bottom too. Okay, whoops, this one came loose. kind of want to put like a, a header size sticker right there to cover up that white out. I don't think I got one left though. I don't. I could use this size though. Well, actually, And make a header size. <clears throat> so let's put that one there. Trim some more off. All right, checklist inside of it. All right. I think that might be it. So I'm going to pop this back in the planner. And this is how I set up my work planner. I'll give you a quick look at March, which I have... I haven't been doing really good. Like I keep track of this, I keep track of this, but I haven't been doing really good about that checklist. Um, so anyway, so this is how I set up my work planner by combining a dashboard layout. See, so you flip the page here and it goes into the dashboard layout and the monthly layout into one to make it work for me and how I use, you know, these this page all throughout the month and the dashboard, you know, every week all throughout the week so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please hit the like button please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you guys all in the next video bye